What is up guys, welcome back to the Rant Room, where we talk about anime, manga, gaming, and controversial topics in nerd and geek culture, World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft players, where you at? This one is for you, fam. According to Sankaku Complex, World of Warcraft players must now sign an anti-harassment social contract, which I think is a little too excessive. Now you understand people should not do bad things while playing video games but come on so what are you gonna do so if someone breaches contracts are you going to return their money and that would include all the money they spent on DLCs cosmetics and stuff like that are you willing to return that money cuz I don't think it seems fair for you to keep all the profit while essentially possibly banning them from playing the game because they Breach contract and what and how far are you willing to go because what you might consider harassment to you and a few people may not be harassment to other people my people some people might think it's just a joke some people might think oh we're just in good fun they're just gamers some old school gamers might think oh yeah I don't care I'm used to this kind of stuff so who is this for well, I'm looking look into this before I do that please consider Hitting the red subscribe button for daily nerd and geek culture content. I hope you're trying to get to a thousand subs. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on Instagram for more nerd crap. It's fun times. Let's go. So it says, Blizzard has continued to try and win back the favor of <laughs> whinier individuals who take offense at everything as a recent update to World of Warcraft requires players to accept an anti-harassment contract before being able to log in. The purest example of how overly sensitive gaming, the gaming scene has become. Now, like I said before, yes, if you are extremely and utterly being blatantly racist to people, then whatever happens to you happens. But come on, there are certain things where people might think, oh, it sounds offensive. And I've been, I've been gaming for years. I was back, I was playing games back when it was the old school Xbox 360, Halo, uh, you know, the weight room. Remember those back in the day? Call of Duty, Halo, how things used to get heavy. <laughs> it was bad, but it was fun. I'm back from those eras, and not a lot of things on the gaming platform really offends me unless you were being a douche, like you were trying to talk about, you know, unaliving families and crap then you kind of have to draw the line there but yeah goes on to say the contract explains that many people of different cultures and backgrounds play world of warcraft obviously and that everyone deserves to have a world where they feel safe simultaneously encouraging players to make friends play as a team and help others advice um help sorry and help others advice that any <laughs> intelligent player already knows yeah I, I gotta agree with that yeah there's activities such as hate speech, harassment, threats, and the like were naturally discouraged actions that were already punishable in the game and other MMORPG for quite some time. With the in-game blocking function now apparently not being enough, the entire contract that was implemented in the patch 9.2.5 on May 31st. Which is a very good point, which I actually did forget. If someone in the game is really bothering you and this person is a pain in the behind the block button's a very powerful tool like like i said before back in the day we used to play halo and call of duty back in those treacherous <laughs> waiting lobbies the block button was a very powerful tool and i would never ever have to play that person ever again <laughs> it was great i think signing of contract is a little too heavy you feel me so here we have it right here i guess is it right here it's really small <laughs> but you gotta get the gist like i read to you this is the contract you now have to sign in order to play world of warcraft or to log into world of warcraft such an unnecessary contract is the epitome of virtual signaling according to the article done by a company solely in an attempt to regain notoriety nor nor sorry among its player base following the <clears throat> sexual harassment lawsuits even though the state of the world of warcraft hardly gave them any positive reputation in the first place 
So what do you guys think about this? Listen, you guys heard my thoughts. But it goes on to say other absurd actions the Blizzard carried out to help in this regard included censorship of paintings in game and name changing for various NPCs, quests, items, and blacklists. Perplexing decision that many disagreed with. Like I said, I think it's excessive, but that is the world we are living in now, bruv, and I don't think it's gonna get any better. Unless, of course, you fight back, and the only way you can really fight back is with your money. Play a different game. But anyway, what do you guys thoughts? Do you approve or disapprove of the social contract that needs to be signed to play World of Warcraft? Let me know in the comments section. I am looking forward to reading your thoughts. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace.